Yo, what's up? Today we're checking out the semi-final of the GBB 2021 and that is Chris the Odin versus Biscuit. So my bro versus my other bro. Let's say it. I love these guys, both of them. And um, yeah, I'm super happy to find both of them at the, the GBB semi-final. Uh, quick story just before starting this video. Chris was not expecting to go that far in a competition. So after his quarterfinal that he won against Dice, he was like, shit, I need to... I need to do four other rounds on stage. How am I going to do that? So um, let's see if you guys can find this. Let's see if you guys have been following this channel and following my work for a while. But his first round, he did not. He only had three rounds, basically. Uh, actually, he only had two rounds, but he had a third one that he managed to, to remix. And he was missing one round for the semifinal against Biscuit. And I told him, well, you can use this round from me that I'm not, I was not gonna use anyway, I mean, ever again in battles. I'm never gonna use this round on stage either. So you can use that round for me. So I, I did a little tutorial and the first round you're about to see is my round. And then uh, I told him, why don't you sing the lyrics of uh, Latch by Sam Smith on top of it? Because it's a song that we do in our shows with Scam Talk and he sings it beautifully. He, his voice on that on that song um, is is amazing. But yeah, uh, just curious to see if you guys can find out which round of mine it is. Uh, I'm gonna say it in this video. I'm gonna say it just in a while. Um, but before, uh, let, interesting to see if, if you guys can find out which one it is. Uh, what I suggest that we do right now is that I just put on my headphones, I stop talking, and let's enjoy the semi-final between Chris and Biscuit. Let's go. Coming to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Chris the Odeon! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh la la! Online champion of the world, give it up for Biz Kid! Hey! <laughs> Gentlemen! Of course. Chris the Odeon versus Bizkit. Bizkit ranking higher decided Chris the Odeon to go first. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. I said, are you ready? So as I was saying, basically, he had only one night, <laughs> only a few hours to prepare this round. So this is a round he's never done before, and he's doing it right there, GBB semi-final. Can you imagine? monitors were pretty loud. Reverse. Uh, 
you put it back to normal. <laughs> Sick remix. And for those who did not know, it was my round sitters. Heading over to Ben's kid. You already know what to do. I say the three, y'all say the two, the one. Crowd in three. <laughs> <laughs> Put this down a little bit. Yo, the quality of those kicks is insane. Oh, this is the only MK1 battle. Chris has two MK1s and Biscuit has one. One must have been stuck. I could see this in a video game. <laughs> I mean, the sound designs are sick, but this deserved a little snare, no? A little case snare or something? Or spit snare or whatever snare. Heading all back.
I was just missing that crisp snare. Ah. Nevertheless, sick round. Pretty close in my opinion so far. Um, it was my impressions live. I was like, this is pretty close. And it's the same impression when watching this on video. By the way, one of his two loop stations is my loop station. <laughs> Great GBB journey from Chris. I see a lot of comments. I need to turn this off. Wait, I have no uh, no battery left. Let me pause this. So we are back with a new battery. Um, I was saying I see a lot of comments of people hating on Chris. Oh, he's just a singer. Uh, he's not even looping. I see a lot of comments also about people hating on him after he won against Dice. He's just doing his thing on stage. He's having fun. He's doing his music, his style. Leave him the fuck alone. With every looper, same thing. Why are you hating on loopers? Loopers are doing their thing. If you are not happy with the decisions, if you are not happy with what's going on at the GBB stage, don't talk shit about the loopers, they have nothing to do with it. If you want to talk about judges' decisions, talk about the judges maybe, or whatever. If you want to see other loopers on stage, or you want to see some other stuff on stage, do a wild card and compete at the GBB and do something. But anyway, uh, much love to, to Chris for his journey. He's been evolving so fast, and I'm super proud of what he, he did here and what he will continue to do, because this guy, he didn't know about looping before 
meeting me a few years ago and he just started looping uh, started making some rounds, became the French loop station champion, started beatboxing, became the French crew beatbox champion, and now he went to the GBB and he killed it and he made it in the top four. He's not asking for anything in return, he's just wanting to having fun on stage. So yeah, just to show respect to Chris a little bit more. Uh, I am hating the comments I see. Uh, I mean, when it's against me, I don't care anymore. It's I'm used to it. All the haters love me, you know how it is. But um, you know when it when it touches other loopers that I truly appreciate and that I, I like and that I respect, I feel like I have to defend them somehow. So um, yeah, let's just move on to biscuit. Uh, I'm loving this battle so far. Let's keep on going. Round two. You already know what to do. I say the three. Y'all say the two and the one. Crowd in three. I don't remember this round, but I remember it was insane. <laughs> so I hope it's gonna be the same on video. I jammed so hard to this, even though I don't remember how it sounded like. It's funny how the video does not reflect at all the live situation. There was so much power in Biscuit's round, live, that in a live situation, I did not really hesitate for Biscuit's second round, you know, I, I had to vote for Biscuit in this battle, live. But when I'm watching this video right now, I'm thinking there's much more complexity in not complexity, variations. The structure is, I feel a bit more interesting in Chris's rounds, even though the hype is definitely for Biscuit. 
with that second round right here. Um, e even the first round, they had a real mood to it. Um, let me stop this video. Um, yeah, so when, when I watched this battle live, I didn't really hesitate at all. For me, it was Biscuit, clear winner. When I'm watching this video, I'm thinking, you know, with the with Sinjo's mastering on top of of these rounds, it clearly makes a difference. Just like Chris versus Dice, um, it does not reflect the reality of what happened live. Very quick uh, analysis of what I've seen. Basically, the first round, um, very close, very simple yet. I'd say good round by Chris. Uh, the, the singing on his first round was, I really loved it. Um, I think out of all the things he've done, he's done in this GBB, all the singing parts he's done, sorry. I think this perhaps could be my favorite with his elimination intro. He managed also to finish this round with a drop that, you know, pleased the crowd and that was pretty nice. Uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because it's, my round done with my loop station also uh, but yeah i mean he, he pulled it up really well in his own style put his little touch to it with the singing very nice round for me the first rounds were a tie because although you could clearly see all the potential in biscuits first round with all the crazy sound designs he had and the atmosphere he created i was really just missing that snare that crisp snare that should have came in at some point i understand that the high pitch sound as the snare worked in the first drop but at some point i really wanted to bang my head and have that snare you know one two three one two three and it was really just missing um it, it was frustrating to me so i think without using any criteria just using my personal feelings uh on this moment I would have given a tie for the first round. And then the second round, they both leveled up their game. Uh, Chris' second round is, technically it has a bit of everything. Chris is an all-rounder and in this round here, you can see he's got a kind of hype beat um, with nice singing parts, like it's his style. He, he likes to sing in his rounds and obviously he's a singer, so it makes sense. And he finishes it off with a pretty awesome and efficient drop uh, that I really like and then Biscuit just comes in with the power you know uh, that really made a difference live the, the crisp beat the bass and the high pitch sounds that's kind of his signature uh, style you know signature rounds you know the, the, the really powerful beat the very subby bass and those crazy high pitch sounds just makes the crowd goes crazy on every drop he makes basically so yeah um pretty close watching it on video my opinion uh but live as i said the power really made a difference um it, it was crazy when he did his second round live there in the at the venue it was it was totally different but uh yeah good job to both loopers honestly we're still gonna watch them we're still gonna watch Chris versus Ritmine for the small final and Biscuit versus Frosty for the final. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to watch this together. Um, and yeah, stay safe. See you very soon. Peace.